Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to Beauty and the Beast official trailer that was released today. Now, I'm really excited to check out this trailer because the teaser they put out a few months ago was awesome, but it really was a definition of a teaser because they barely showed anything in that teaser they put out a few months ago. They showed the inside of the beautiful castle, that shot of the rose, and then out of focus a little bit was Emma Watson playing Belle, and then it cut off to the, the logo Beauty and the Beast. So I'm definitely intrigued to check out what they're going to show us in the official trailer they're probably going to be showing in front of movies this weekend and further on down the road. So anyways, without further ado, I'm excited, guys. Let's get into it now. Beauty and the Beast official trailer. Let's get into it and see what they show us. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, wow. There you go. The Disney logo amped up. Ooh. Wow, dude, look at this. Ooh. There she is. Wow. I saw the pictures they put out, but that looks Show me the girl. That looks great. Look at her. What if she is the one? The one who'll break the spell. Hello, you can talk. Well, of course he can talk. Hello, pleased to meet you. This is awesome. The oh my god. Ooh. Yes. That shot from the teaser. Think of the one thing you've always wanted. Find it in your mind's eye and feel it in your heart. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. Wow. Like, they said that in the teaser, be our guest. They did it again. I gotta say, guys, um, wow. Uh, they showed a lot in that. But then again, we know the story. It's not like this is like a brand new film we've never heard of before. And Because, unfortunately, I will get to the actual trailer and my thoughts about everything they just showed. But I do want to briefly want to touch on something. The difference between what this did and what other studios do with brand new films is that if it's a brand new film no one's ever heard of it before the studio decides to make the trailers show too much they make the trailers just give away mostly everything in the film because they want people in the seats paying for tickets in this we know the story like even if you don't know the animated version of the story you don't know how the things unfold in the animated version you know the story you get it so to me disney has done a fantastic job so far with their animation to live act uh, live action adaptations they've done jungle book they the jungle book jungle book that's the way you pronounce it was the best out of the ones so far they've done cinderella i felt was pretty good but jungle book was phenomenal it's just so damn good it looks so good this looks amazing as well like jungle book and to me i i can't wait because i remember watching beauty and the beast non-stop when I was a little kid, like I watched a lot of the animated Disney films nonstop all the time. Like, like, it, it, like every other day I'd put it, I put one in, even though I might have seen it two or three days ago. I'll rewatch it again. So to me, Disney's Disney's doing it right so far. And from what I just saw, wow, the the look of it looks phenomenal. The CGI work for the Beast looks amazing. Emma Watson looks great as always, and just seeing. That amazing animated story turned to live action and hearing some iconic voices like Ian McKellen and uh, who else? What, are, what other voices are in this? Do they even tell? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Emma Watson as Belle, Dan Stevens as the Beast, Luke Evans as Gaston, the handsome but shallow. <laughs> Ian McGregor as Lemire. Is that how you pronounce the character's name? I'm sorry. Um, Stanley Tucci. Yep. Ian McKellen. Mm hmm. And Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson as Miss Potts. 
oh, okay. I, I, I forgot about that, but uh, Ian McGregor, that was the other name I was thinking, like, what, who else? Because I remember it was, I remember what stuck out of my head besides Emma Watson as Belle, it was that they cast an Ian McKellen, but I was like, did they cast someone else that, re that I um, automatically remember? Ian McGregor makes sense. Obi-Wan Kenobi. But this is this looks really good. I, I I cannot wait for this film, I think. I don't know if it's going to surpass Jungle Book to me, because like, to me, the animated films are just so good. They're up on the pedestal. I'm not saying the live-action Jungle Book we just had this year is better than the, the animated adaptation. I'm not saying that. But what is going to be, eventually, after all these films come out, which one is going to be the best live-action adaptation that we get from these retelling, if you will, versions of the li of the animated? Like, which live-action version is going to be the best? I'm hoping, as we progress, Beauty and the Beast is going to beat Jungle Book. And then whichever one comes next after Beauty and the Beast beats Beauty and the Beast, and we keep on going. So each new film comes out. So I'm hoping that this surpasses Jungle Book, not in terms of box office, but as but as the quality. I'm hoping that this film is actually better than The Jungle Book because to me, Jungle Book's like top tier stuff, like in my personal opinion, in terms of story, which we, we already knew the story, but the CGI, the, the, the look of the film, the, the music, everything they put into that just was amazing. So I'm hoping that this surpasses Jungle Book. I'm just hoping. So, <clears throat> so well, I have my throat, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> long day. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this trailer. Are you excited for this film? I'm assuming you are. But let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about this film, the thoughts about the trailer, anything and everything revolving around this live action version of Beauty and the Beast. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watch, watching my reaction slash review. I'm just losing my words. Okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going to stop rambling. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.